I'm Harold Kennedy, past chair of the Forsyth County Democratic Party, and I'm your master of ceremonies for our second annual Forsyth County Democratic Gala. I will now call upon the chair of the Forsyth County Democratic Party, Fleming Allen, to bring welcome to you. Fleming. change the landscape of not just Forsyth County, but also North Carolina and the National Leadership as well. So I would be remiss to stand here uh, without recognizing a few people. If you would indulge me for just one moment. I am here by the grace of God and my mother, Mrs. Helena Jackson. Would you please stand? <laughs> We have a host of hard workers at the Scythe County Democratic Party. For all the other offices of the executive board, please stand so that everyone can see them. And again, take your shoes off, make yourself at home. <laughs> You're at home in the Scythe County Democratic Party. <laughs> Think of Slap County, think of Democrats. Again, welcome, welcome, and welcome. <laughs> Alan Joins has been the mayor of Princeton Salem uh, for several years now. Of course, under Alan's leadership, this city has really taken off. If you drive into downtown Winston Salem and see Trade Street and all the new restaurants and condos that are going up in this city and see the uh, new baseball stadium that's being built, uh, we're really moving ahead. So I want to call upon our great mayor of the city of Winston-Salem, the Honorable Alan Joins, to come forward now and give us greetings. Alan. so good to be in a room with so many Democrats tonight. It's <laughs> really my honor to be here to bring you greetings on behalf of the City Council and my, many of my colleagues are here tonight. I see Councilmember Johnson and Councilmember Light and everybody. Councilmember Bessie I know is probably here. Uh, I want to also welcome our distinguished uh, guests that are here, uh, our State Treasurer Richard Moore. Richard, thank you for being with us tonight and Lieutenant Governor Governor today. other candidates that are here tonight and you'll be recognized a little bit later on. Folks, we know this is going to be a hugely challenging and exciting year for all of us as Democrats as we elect a new president, a new governor, a lieutenant governor, U.S. senator, congressmen and women, local offices. It's going to be a great time. If you know what, here in Forsyth County, this Democratic Party has got to gear up for the battle that's ahead. We've got to do all that we can to excite our members, keep them engaged throughout this year, and most importantly, get them out to vote in November. You know, as Democrats, we are a party of the people, aren't we? But we have to thwart the efforts of our good friends in that other party, the one that starts with an R, because they tend to want to thwart our efforts to have good democratic programs that will save our planet, that will uh, address inequities, as well as our good democratic programs that will allow all Americans to enjoy the bounty of this wonderful country. Those of you who are at our monthly meeting of the Democratic Party a few weeks ago heard me cite some good examples about our good Republican friends and showed that they are no friend of the environment, they're no friend of the working men or women, or the disadvantaged, or veterans, or, neighbor, or safe neighborhoods, or friends of those who are in need of health care. And I asked who are they the friends of, and you told me that they are the friends of big business, they're friends of special interest groups and not of the folks that really need the help. Right. Certainly. Mm -hmm. It's safe to say that the Republican Party is not a friend to the things that most of Americans as we hold dear, the things that we expect from our government. 
Well, folks, thank goodness for the Democratic Party. We have our faults, a few. DD always says, yes, we do. But our core beliefs were strong, and we're making great strides to improve this country, this state, and our county here. We also know that as Democrats, we do a great job of getting folks registered to vote, don't we? But unfortunately, we don't do as good a job of getting them engaged and keeping them engaged and getting them out to vote on Election Day. Folks have got to do a better job with that because voting is a key part of our free society. It's an important right that we take for granted. Nelson Mandela once said that he was prepared to die for that right, and yet we take that for granted. Well, let's all pledge tonight to help our party and these great candidates that we're going to hear from tonight as we go forward this year. We can't wait till somebody else does it. It's up to us. We can't wait till the, uh, the uh, officers of the party to do it. It's up to us. We can't wait for these great candidates and their staff to do it. It's up to us. Every single one of us can play an important role in this election, and I urge you to get involved, play your part, because every role is important. Robert Kennedy once said, and this is one of my favorite quotes, few will have the greatness to bend history itself but each of us can work to change a small portion of events, and in the total of all of those acts will be written the history of this generation. So each of us can play a key role in history if we just get involved. So I'd like to say to you tonight, at the end of this campaign season, when all the signs have come down, when all the crowds have stopped cheering, when all the music has stopped playing, may it be said of the Forsyth County Democratic Party, may it be said that we kept the faith, that we did all we could, that we elected the candidates who will make the hard decision, but more importantly, we elected candidates who will make the hard decisions for all the people and not just special interest and big business. And they, they, and they be said that we had an election of democracy where we engaged young people, kept them involved, and got them to the polls to vote. If we step up right now and work really hard all year through November, in November, we will be victorious. And we won't be lamenting what might have been, we'll be celebrating what is. Thank you for coming. Out.